Everyone loves that nice bronze tan look, but not everyone can get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through a few tips and techniques on different self-tanning products to help you achieve as natural a tan as possible. Firstly, preparation is key. You need to exfoliate the night before. You can do this using a body wash such as this one. What this does, it gets rid of any dead skin cells and leaves the skin free from any residue. The hot water from your bath or your shower opens up your pores. If you pop the false tan on straight after that, what you'll find is the false tan tends to sit in the open pores and then the finish won't be smooth because what you'll find is you have little tiny black dots all the way down your legs. So first we've got the gradual tanner. What this is, it's a body lotion that you use every single day and it's got self-tanner built in. So slowly throughout the course of the week, your tan will deepen. You do need to exfoliate it off at the end of the week though. There are several type of instant tanning products out there on the market. The first one I'm going to show you is perfect for a night out. It's got a nice guide colour so you can see where you're putting it and it also instantly washes off. Both this and the gradual tan are available from the cooperative pharmacy. The second type of tan I'm going to show you is a spray on tan. Extremely popular if you don't have any gloves around the house. This tan, it lasts for about a week so you do need to make sure that you exfoliate it off at the end of the week if you're going to reapply. One thing to watch out for when you're using the spray tans is your carpets because they can stain. As with all tans, for the same reason, make sure they dry before you put your clothes on. Whatever the product, the basics are the same. I'm going to use a special tanning mitt but you can also use latex gloves just to protect your hands. So as you can see, I'm just rubbing it in using nice easy circular motions. Use the product first of all on your shins, any excess product you have work that into your knees and your ankles afterwards because what you can find is if you put too much product on your knees and your ankles it can tend to go blotchy which is not a good look. You can add more of the instant tan once the first application is absorbed in. The second tanning product I'm going to show you is a spray tan so there's no need to use any mitts or gloves. So what you need to do is you need to hold the can about 30 centimetres away from your leg, start at the front of your shin and use long, even strokes all the way around your leg. Then if you do tend to have drier knees or ankles, use a little bit of moisturiser, rub that in and then spray over the top of that. With both types of tan, always apply two layers, leaving about an hour between each layer. What you'll find then is you get a deeper tan that fades more evenly. I use the latex gloves to blend the tan in to ensure a smooth, even finish, especially where the skin's rougher around the ankles and the sides of my feet. A good tip is to highlight different parts of the body. You can highlight the collarbone or the front of the shins, and you can also use darker tones to add definition to create a really flattering look. 